Hello and welcome to Just One More Watch. If this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. My name is Jody and I talk about value packed watches. I would love you to subscribe by hitting the button down in the bottom corner of the screen. Time flies when you're having fun and it's been well over 12 months since I put on the Scottish t-shirt for the first of my price based value pack top five roundups. I thought therefore it was high time that I revisited each of the price categories starting today with 50 US dollars. I've said it before and I'll say it again, you do not have to spend more than 50 bucks if you don't want to, to get a cracking watch on your wrist as today's list proves. Now I've reviewed a ton of pieces over the last 12 months. A lot of the stuff that I was recommending sight unseen 12 months ago, I've bought, I've worn, I've owned and I've reviewed on the channel. So I'm confident about recommending any of these watches to you today. So confident in fact that we've gone from a top five list to a top 10 list. And there's something for everyone. We've got dress watches, field watches, there's a G-Shock, there's a proper 200 meter diver, there's Casios, there's Timex, there's Seikos, and of course there's a few of my Chinese specials, watches that pack just incredible value for money. Now I will leave links in the description as to where you can buy these pieces. Most of them are from Amazon. There's a couple from Gearbest, one from AliExpress, and a couple you're gonna have to do your own research on eBay or elsewhere. All right, you know how I do this. I'm not gonna muck about today. I'm gonna go through these 10 pieces in fairly short order. Let's get on with it. Okay, so as always, these are in no particular order, but as always, I'll start by putting a couple of my favorites up front. Starting with this one at number one, it's the Guanchin GJ16034. Yes, the Chinese probably want to have a look at how they market some of these ones. Now, this is from gearbest.com. Prices are variable, currently 52 US dollars. Now, that's for either the very nice black on black or the silver on brown that I've got. However, you will find a discount code in the description locking the price in to 49.95 until the end of 2018. So what do you get for less than a 50? Well, I think you get a very attractive looking watch. The Guanchin logo is pure Longines, but I don't think this is an homage of anything, certainly nothing that I have seen anyway. Kind of polygonal bezel, very unusual. You even get a little bit of loom on those hands, but the real star of the show is the Seiko automatic movement. It hacks, it hand winds, it is rugged, it is robust, it has a 42 hour power reserve. If you want one of these in a Seiko, you're looking at 200 plus dollars. Screw down case back, 30 meters of water resistance. I've had this one in and out of the shower with absolutely no problems at all. I wouldn't recommend it much beyond the shower though. And check the accuracy of the movement. This is two weeks of running, a mixture of on my wrist and in my watch winders, plus six seconds per day. If you're getting single digits out of any movement that isn't cost certified, you're doing really well, especially in one that costs $50. The leather strap that it comes supplied with is just about manageable. It's a kind of brown faux croc number, a little bit padded, rubbery, plasticky on the underside with the Guanchin logo embossed there. The stitching's reasonable though, and it has a butterfly clasp. 20 mil lug width, you'll be able to swap this out for something as and when the occasion occurs. And I think it looks great on wrist. It's about 40 and a half mil in diameter, about 48 mil lug to lug, thickness of just about 11 mil. I think it looks really quite good on the wrist. Rather understated and rather classy looking. Because this has a Seiko movement though, if you're keen on modding, look what I did to mine. I took the watch apart and I put a set of snowflake hands on it. I think this would be a great watch for people who are cutting their teeth and don't want to spend a fortune mucking up a Seiko. You can buy one of these, you can have a play around with it. I love it on the Perlon. Nice, light, comfortable, 65 grams. A bit of a surprise package, highly recommended the Guan Chin. And it sounds almost ridiculous, but at number two, you can buy a Casio G-Shock for well under a 50, and not just a G-Shock, but I think a classic. So which G are we talking about and why do I think it's a classic? Here we are on Amazon, the DW5600E-1V, yours for $42.42, double meaning of life. Quite remarkable that you can get a G-Shock at all for less than 50 in my opinion. And this is arguably the smallest of the G-Shocks. Therefore, this is gonna suit the widest variety of wrists. Not a shy and retiring piece by any stretch, but relatively discreet nonetheless. Now here's the original G-Shock from 1983. Looks pretty similar, doesn't it? Next pick is the updated 5600, the first of them in 1986. 
again, looks pretty similar. A classic design and they haven't changed it now in 20 odd years. I think more than any other watch on the list today, this one will get you a nod from true watch aficionados. And it is a G-Shock, so we've got recessed pushers, we've got a little cowling covering the dial there to ensure that it doesn't get scratched, and the band itself is part of that shock absorption mechanism. As I'm now demonstrating, if you drop the watch and it bounces in the band, it helps protect the module. The module itself is sealed within a cushion container within the case as well, so a bunch of shock protections as standard with the G. And because it is a Casio, it comes stacked full of features. There's an alarm, there's a countdown timer, there's a stopwatch. This one has an electroluminescent backlight. It displays the day of the week, the day of the month, and it is a 200 meter water resistant watch. As a bonus, and there it is on wrist. I've got a seven inch wrist. I don't think it looks too bad on me. I've owned a couple of these G-Shocks over the years, this 5600 model. They could have signed the class bear on the band, but that's a minor complaint for less than $45. They do tend to look a little bit shiny after continued use because it is just a resin. It doesn't wear all that badly, but it does look a little bit shiny, but you can't knock that value for less than $45. At number three, it's the one and only Seiko on the list. And if you want to find this one for a 50, you're going to have to do some digging. It's the Seiko SNK 800 series. All right, back on Amazon again, and we've got the green one as the cheapest one that I could find, coming in at just under $64. Now that's slightly unusual because it is normally the slightly unusual looking cream one that is the bargain. This is usually the cheapest of the, the 800 variants. I found this one on Skywatches out of Singapore, 57 US dollars. So you are gonna have to dig around if you wanna get close, set some alerts. I'm sure you'll find it at some point for around a 50. Now, the one I reviewed was the 809 on the metal bracelet. That's probably beyond the budget today, but all dimensions and specs are the same. 37 mil in diameter, 18 mil lug width, just under 12 mil thick. That's going to be a little bit small for some guys, but don't be put off by the dimensions. I'm going to do a comparison with it in a couple of seconds. Nice field watch aesthetic, very clean. They've also got a black day date complication there, black date wheels. I think a very nice aesthetic choice. And the movement in this one, it's another Seiko. Obviously, this is the 7S26, as found in a hundred thousand other Seiko 5s. It doesn't hack, it doesn't hand wind, but these things are are legendary for running without service for a decade and check that accuracy plus 2.7 out of a bog basic movement in a $50 watch over a couple of weeks is pretty much incredible no wonder they have such a fantastic reputation you even get a little bit of Seiko's proprietary Lumi Bright Loom not a huge amount of it but just enough now there it is in a bit of an SKX sandwich uh, SKX 013 on the left SKX 009 on the right not that small then. I suspect a lot of people though are gonna take it straight off the nylon band that it comes with and pop it on some kind of NATO. This black dial one bead blasted finish looks hot on a bond. If you can find one for on or around $50, it will serve you well for many, many years to come. All right, next up, it's the second of my value packed Chinese specials. I'm wearing this one today. It's the Cadison C1032. So we're back on gearbest.com for this one. Look at the price. What are you trying to do to us, Jody? $72. Now I've got the white one in. They also do a very attractive looking black dial one. That looks so classy. Again, though, I got Gearbest to sharpen their pencil. There's a discount code locking this one in at $55 US until the end of 2018. This may be the most stylish of the Chinese specials that I've looked at to date. Look at that thing, just gorgeous. I think a real kind of mid-century aesthetic here. Lovely silver sunburst dial, Dauphine hands, they're not even trying to do loom with these ones. Applied arrowhead indices and a very understated Roman up there at 12 o'clock. Uh, you've got 40 mil diameter, 47 mil lug to lug, 
20 mil lug width, 11 and a half mil thick, so it actually is sized like a proper dress watch. They've even managed to put a little bit of a frame around the day date complication, added practicality there. Obviously, if you're gonna be using this one as your, your daily wear, your Monday to Friday piece, sapphire crystal on the dial as well. Again, just incredible that they can do them at this price point. Now, the bracelet on this one is actually decent as well. The whole watch is all polished. Now, if you're not into shiny surfaces, this may not suit you. All polished, but solid links and solid end links. And again, it features a Seiko NH36 movement. Hacking and hand winding, same as before. Accurate, reliable, robust, and will probably run for a decade without complaint. Very sweetly proportioned, this one. Again, on my seven inch wrist, 40 mil, just about spot on. A really, really classy looking piece, this thing. I don't think it looks like a $50 watch. I think this looks much more expensive. I think this one could definitely benefit from a strap upgrade, perhaps to something brown to complement the silver of the dial. For $55, you're getting an awful lot of watch with a Caddison. At number five, it's the one and only proper 200 meter dive watch on the list. It is of course the Casio NDV106, AKA the Duro. You can buy these all day long and still get change out of a 50. They've been making the Duro since 2010 and it is quickly becoming a, a cult favorite amongst the, the water sport brigade on a budget. It is the largest watch on the list today though. It's a full 44 millimeters in diameter, just over 50 mil lug tip to lug tip. Uh, not too thick though, because it has a quartz movement and this one features 22 millimeter lug width. Unusual choice, the supplied resin band actually flares out beyond the lugs. I'll rectify that in just a second or two, but a really nice nice, clean aesthetic. Very unusual for Casio. They haven't overbranded this one. They've kept it very clean, black and white aesthetic. Love the little red tip of the second hand, dead flat mineral crystal, and a screw down crown help give it that water resistance rating. You also get a 120 click unidirectional rotating bezel. Very nice action. Mine was a used example. There's a little bit of bounce there, but nothing that I would complain about at this price point. There's also some nice little touches, including the etched marlin on that stainless steel case back. Screw down, obviously, because this is a, a proper dive watch. You also get some usable loom. This is maybe doing it favors, so you can't expect too much. Now, 44, seven inch wrist, that's about as big as I would normally wear on my wrist, but it is a very nice clean design. It doesn't look fussy or overbearing. There it is on a sail cloth strap, which I think shrinks the overall dimensions of the thing, shrinks the overall aesthetic. You can buy a rubber strap on eBay for a couple of dollars, which would suit the whole water sport vibe of this one. I suspect many people will also pop it on a NATO. Really a great watch. If you're into water sports or you're on a budget, the Duro is a top choice. Coming in at number six, if I told you you could buy a Swiss made watch on a metal bracelet for 50 bucks, you'd think I was mad. Well, I am mad. It's the Wenger Field Classic. 51.99, incredible. Now, admittedly, the color tones on this one, the blue and brown are not gonna be to everyone's taste, but I don't mind it. Swiss made on the dial though, full metal bracelet, just amazing for a smidge over a 50. Now, this is the one I bought. I bought the one with a white dial on the leather strap. Amazon have sold out. You can still pick them up on eBay with change from a 50. If you insist on buying on Amazon though, there are plenty of these, admittedly slightly unusual, not quite so legible, camouflage dials in a variety of different colors. Not a bad weekender and plenty of change from a 50. Did I mention the nice box and the three year warranty? It really is a bit of a steal, this Wenger. And I do like the field watch aesthetic to it overall. A nice, simple, all brushed stainless steel case, bang on one centimeter thick because it's a quartz movement. Not a lot of curvature in those 52 mil lugs though, so it does wear quite big on the wrist, 42 mil diameter, but a please design overall. I do like the field watch with a 1 to 12 on the outside, 24 hour markers on the inside and a surprising amount of loom. I really wasn't expecting all those numerals to have as much loom on them. It's all about the hands though and there was plenty of loom on the hands. 
there it is on wrist. And as mentioned, it does kind of sit on top of your wrist because of those long lugs, but it compensates by weighing pretty much next to nothing. It really is very light. They've even done a nice job signing that buckle with the little Swiss flag on it. If it's gotta be Swiss and you're on a budget, it's pretty much gotta be the Wenger. At number seven on today's top 10 list, it's a watch whose specifications rise above all others, sapphire crystal and a 4K high beat automatic movement. It's the Star King from AliExpress. On a list of dollar dazzlers, this Star King probably dazzles more than the rest. So AliExpress here, and as you can see, prices vary between $53 and $59, depending on which one you go for, black dial, white dial, leather strap, bracelet, etc. However, AliExpress, there's always a couple of vouchers to be had. Here you are, new user, $4. You should expect to get this Star King on wrist for just about 50. Now I looked at two of them. I looked at the black dial on the leather strap and the white dial on the bracelet. Both of them very nicely packaged. You're not necessarily expecting decent packaging at this price. A little bit of kind of full bamboo and a tiny Star King polishing cloth. Kind of classic set of dimensions again on this one. 14 mil, nice and slim pie pan case, high polish finish. They even signed the crown. 47 mil lug tip to lug tip, 20 mil lug width, decent bracelet with a couple of different finishes, butterfly clasp, weighing it at 100 grams, applied arrowhead indices, dauphine hands, needle second hand, and a little cutout for the date window, sapphire crystal on that dial. But again, this one's about the movement. Now, somebody said that this was a worked Miyota. It's a Miyota that they pumped up to 28,800 vibrations per hour. I know what you're thinking, it's Chinese, Jody. it's gonna be rubbish, but have a look at that accuracy plus 2.8 seconds a day. Again, this video has demonstrated you don't have to spend a fortune. These movements punch well above their weight and don't be frightened of buying something that is proudly Chinese rather than something that is Chinese but doesn't tell the truth about it. Wears very similarly to the Cadison. Again, nice set of dimensions. Looks pretty classy on wrist. Looks a lot more expensive than the price suggests. With the Star King, you are getting so much watch for your cash. At number eight, it's the only Timex on today's list and the only chronograph, the Weekender 40 millimeter. There are no shortage of Timex watches vying for your 50 bucks on Amazon, a positively bewildering array of the things, many of them digital. I'm a big fan of the Iron Man series, many of them analog. I would steer you away from the slightly noisy analog plastic bodied versions. That's why I've gone for this metal bodied Weekender Chronograph 40 millimeter. And isn't it a looker? So the only chrono on the list today, is a 30 minute timer, one push of the top pusher, and you'll start that chrono hand that's currently pointing at 12 spinning. If you stop it again with the bottom pusher, that sub dial at two o'clock actually measures 20th of a second. So 30 minutes and measuring as accurately as 20th of a second. The little sub dial at the six o'clock there is actually the second hand. I think this one is gonna suit a wide variety of wrists given that it's a 40 millimeter and there are an impressive array of colors available for this one. I think this watch will look great with jeans and t-shirt also look equally great with chinos and a polo shirt, perhaps one for the, the young and trendies amongst you who were considering a Daniel Wellington, an MVMT or something equally hideous. You can buy a much better watch for much less cash. And if you like that kind of full patinaed, full vintage look, take a look at this one. It's the same watch, but for $10 less, and I think it looks awesome. They've done a really good job of making it look like a vintage watch whilst working like a modern watch. Now Timex, it is also worth noting, they started as a company in the 1940s. They can trace their lineage back to the 1850s, second only to Seiko on this list then in terms of heritage as a brand. A good choice if you want something fashionable for a 50. And at number nine today, if you are an outdoorsy guy but can't quite stretch to a Casio Pro Trek, don't worry, you're still well catered for, for less than a 50. So I usually get a little bit excited when I do these reviews and I buy a watch or two and I've bought both of these last two watches. Look at the value in this one, 4145 for something that is to all intents and purposes, a Casio Pro Trek. It's a big boy, 48 mil in diameter, but it's only 13 mil thick. And because it's on one of those nylon straps, it weighs in at just over 50 grams. 
just what you want when you're out camping or trekking at the weekend. You don't want to be dragging a bunch of weight because it's a Casio, it is feature packed, 200 meters of water resistance, it's got an alarm, it's got stopwatches, it's got a decent electro luminescent as well, multiple time zones, dead easy to set, but there you go, twin sensor, compass and thermometer, Casio conveniently labeling it for you. One push of that little green button down at the four o'clock tells you what direction you're in, tells you what temperature it is, so you know how quickly you're gonna freeze to death and hopefully how you need to travel to avoid it. Just an incredible amount of technology on your wrist for not a lot of cash. And finally, at number 10, thank you for sticking with me this long. We're gonna go a little bit crazy with a Vostok Komandersky. No shortage of options for buying the Komandersky. If you need it in three days, you can buy it on Amazon for $49.99. I would be heading over to Meronom in the first instance. Meronom is the kind of factory shop, if you will, of the Vostok factory. This is probably a good place to do your research, decide on the model that you're looking for, mug up on which type of movement you're after, dimensions, specifications, and so on. And there are no shortage of different varieties of these one. A lot of them very similar similar but different dials. Look at the number of pages there. I'd then be going to eBay though. Now it's going to take you four weeks, six weeks waiting on one of these to ship but just so many to choose from there and the prices are generally a little bit sharper than Meronom. Full of Soviet era Cold War kitsch. This one's a paratrooper dial. You can get tanks, submarines, aircraft carriers, big bronze eagles, Soviet flags. All of them have that glorious crest on the back of the watch. A little bit of loom on there. 17 joule manual winding movement. Not fabulously accurate, but you can take the back off these and regulate them yourself. Only 30 meters water resistance, so frankly, you may as well take the back off them and regulate them yourself. They come with the most hideous strap known to man, absolutely the most horrible strap that I've seen, but it didn't stop me buying this one today for myself. It's a brass case, this one proudly showing off its brass gilt hands, $33 plus a little bit of delivery. I'll let you know how I get on with my Komandersky. They're an acquired taste, but I think one well worth acquiring these budget Vostoks. So there you have it, another value packed top 10 roundup. I love making these videos, I love compiling the lists. I find them exciting, so exciting in fact that I usually end up buying at least one of the watches and today was no exception. I am always amazed by how much watch you can get on your wrist for less than a 50. It makes these Swiss luxury pieces pricing seem almost farcical by comparison. If I was buying one of these, I would go for one of the two Chinese specials from Gearbest with that Seiko hacking and hand winding NH36 movement, a sapphire crystal on the dial, just ridiculous as a long-term piece. If I was buying more than one of these, I would definitely be throwing in a Casio as my weekender, either the G-Shock, the Pro Trek style, or that Duro. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.